you're a videographer and you don't have what? Go buy this, go buy that, stop. Look, please, here are the must-haves for your first video shoot or your 100,000th shoot. Let's go. Hey, future Tyler Perry's and Steven Stillbergers out there. I'm the filmologist, and today, we want to break down the top five must-haves for your first video shoot. Let's dive in. Item one, the camera, your new best friend. Whether it's a DSLR, a mirrorless, or even your smartphone, it's not about the price tag, it's about knowing your gear. Remember, even Spielberg's first films weren't in 8K. It can be as simple as your cell phone, if you're starting, or I highly recommend like a beginner camera, such as a Canon or a Sony A-series camera, which I personally actually started out with. They have the capability to shoot ultra high definition, such as like 4K and things like 120 frames, and it allows you to get amazing slow motion takes. The amount of lenses that you can add to the collection is endless, for short and long range shots. And no, using your old webcam doesn't count. Next, meet your other bestie, the tripod. It's not just a stand, it's a ticket to stable shots and sanity. Say goodbye to shaky, nausea inducing footage. There are many tripods on the market and I will tell you, most of them get the job done for all intents and purposes of this video. I won't get into a bunch of details about different product types, but know that there is a difference as you start to scale into your business. For me, I wanted something that was very smooth, floating head with the rotation. I can extend it to like extremely high heights for different angles needed, and I needed it to be very sturdy. But unless you're going for that Blair Witch vibe, I would just say dish to, dish to try by. Let's talk about sound. A good microphone is like a great cup of coffee on a Monday morning. It's absolutely essential. Your audience might forgive a slight off shot, but bad sound? That's a big no. I have several iterations of microphones from battery-less to battery-powered, and my best option is wireless. It goes without saying, make sure that the battery-powered ones are charged because they don't make a sound when they die. You get it? All right, bad job. But really, these can be lifesavers even if you have less than quality video. See, videos can be actually saved with like LUTs and overlays, but, but bad sound, retouching it is like lipstick on a frog. It's not gonna work. Remember, great audio whispers sweet nothings into your viewer's ears. Lighting, setting the mood. It sets the mood, creates the atmosphere, and honestly, it makes everyone look better. A simple LED panel can be like the first step to achieving cinematic glory. Here, I have a key light, side, and a background light as well, right? That really sets the mood for this video here. Think of some key movie scenes where the star comes out in the dark. Think most Batman movies. Now, we're not gonna get into how bad or good some of those have been, but you get the point. Lights can make or break a project no matter how cheap you go with lights. No light is not a good look. Nobody wants to watch a horror movie when it's actually a romantic comedy. Last but not least, extra batteries and memory cards. These are the unsung heroes of any shoot <laughs> because the only thing worse than a bad shoot is no shoot at all. I just had a shoot last month where my battery light was blinking in the middle of that strip. Talk about anxiety. Nothing is worse than waiting for her lines to end so that I can call off cut. Luckily she finished her lines and I acted like nothing happened, but I, I had to change my shirt. I was sweating, I was extremely nervous because the last thing you want is that battery to die, okay? Trust me, I've learned this the hard way. Do not follow my footsteps. So there you have it, the Fab Five of filming. Arm yourself with these and you're ready to conquer the world of videography. Remember, every great director started with the first shot. And this is actually yours here. If you found this video to be pretty cool, you know what to do there. Drop a comment below and what you're gonna shoot first though, okay? Until next time, keep creating. Take care.